Good morning, everyone. My name is Aja Ellington. I am founder of Free Your Wings Youth Mentoring. And today we're here with, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself. Why don't you tell them your name and a little bit about yourself? Okay. Hello, everyone. I am Tanaja Summers. I love to dance. I have a TikTok about it. So I love to dance, tick, do TikTok videos, spend time with my family, read, and play video games with my brother. And I am also co-founder of Free Your Wings. Co-founder of Free Your Wings? Yep. What's Free Your Wings? It's in business where we help people, help people in need, help youth families, and go around, do events about it. Events? Hmm. What are some of the events you do? One of the events are, one of them were Mask Up Monday. Oh. <laughs> so tell, tell, tell everybody about Mask Up Monday. So Mask Up Monday is where we had lots lots of masks and people were driving through, grabbing them. And there, it was a little baggie with masks looked exactly like these, masks like these, and hand sanitizer. So, so why, did, why, do, why do people need masks? Why would I want to walk around with something on my face all the time? Because COVID hit, Dang. and we didn't, don't want to get sick, because sometimes you could die from it, so nobody mm -hmm. wants that to happen. So we were handing out masks so nobody got sick, and so they could protect you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what was your favorite event that we did as an organization? My favorite event was when we walked around picking up garbage off the grass sidewalk and like streets. You picked up garbage? Yep. That was your favorite event, picking up nasty garbage on the street? Yeah, because we ate pizza afterwards. Ah, okay. Did your community look better after you picked up the garbage? Not better, better, but it, it looked way better after everyone went around picking up garbage. Why is that important to keep your community clean, keep your streets clean? Because um, if there's lots, lots of garbage just sitting on the ground, then you know there's lots, lots of people that litter. So we don't want littering to happen because it's like God made the world for everyone to live, and everyone just litters it like like He didn't put us on this earth, and He didn't put us on the earth to like break laws and throw garbage on the ground. I like that. Yeah, I hate garbage. You, we we did another event. Um, kind of made me really hungry. Oh, yeah. Um, that event where we were handing out turkeys. Ooh, turkeys? Yeah, we were handing out turkeys. Since it was Thanksgiving, we were okay. handing out turkeys to people that needed them in churches. Okay. Yeah, you really like that event? I like it, but I don't eat turkey. <laughs> you don't eat turkey? Why? It's like, it's like dry. Oh, I can cook. I know, but like all turkey tastes dry to me. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about some of Tanaja's favorite books. Well, actually, rewind. What are what kind of books do you like to read? What kind of books do you enjoy? Books I enjoy reading are, one of them is books about my history hmm. and my color of my skin. Okay. And what are your other favorite books? Um, I, I really is a sandwich right now. Yeah, one of my favorite <laughs> books are cooking books that teach you how to cook like a cookbook. Okay, can you cook? I can cook eggs and pizza. Oh, okay. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to try it. <laughs> so what are, with your favorite books, your favorite type of books, um, are any of these books meaningful to you? Um, or actually, we can just dive into uh, the books you brought yeah. for everyone today. So which one would you want to start with? I will want to start with this one. Okay. Okay, so this book is called Who is Martin Luther King Jr.? Mm -hmm. This book is, this book meant a lot to me because of the color of my skin. And this book is about a black man named Martin Luther King. He was fighting for his justice because blacks were not treated, blacks were not treated the same as whites because they thought we were like, dirty filthy and treated us differently because we because we were black so this book meant a lot to me because i'm a i'm a black female and i'm a black girl so they were getting killed for no reason and getting hurt for no reason and getting like whipped so i how did that make you feel it made me feel like sad and angry because i'm black and i don't want none of our people getting hurt because just because of our color because 
we were born with it and there's nothing wrong with our color. So it sounds a little similar to some of the issues going on today, would you say? Yeah. How so? Because blacks are getting killed for no reason in the real world still because because of cops. There's good cops and bad cops. Bad cops are like killing blacks for no reason because of the color of their skin. Like all, like not all blacks, but they're killing black, pe black people for like no reason. Okay. You want to dive into the next one? Yeah. All right. Delivering Justice, is it? Yeah. So this book is called Delivering Justice. This book is just like Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. So it's about blacks not being able to do what they want because of the color of their skin. And... Hmm. They I don't know. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, it's called Delivering Justice because blacks are fighting for their justice. They were not being able to do what they want. They were not being able to shop in the front of the stores. Only whites were able to do that. Where they weren't able to sit on the front of the bus. They were only allowed to sit on the back of the buses. And that meant a lot. To, they meant that meant a lot to me because if I was in this book, I would, I would be try to be like Martin Luther King and like try to fight for my justice like they were. Was it easy to understand this book? Yeah, it was super easy. Okay. Yeah, so this was actually uh, a really good book to read more so because it has pictures. I love pictures. No matter, no matter how old I get, I just love looking at pictures. Um, but it goes down memory lane um, in regards to the civil rights. So very interesting book to read, to uh, to use. There's a couple difficult words, but as long as an adult or someone is reading it with them, a very good read, Delivering Justice. <laughs> So next we're going to talk about, I don't know what this book is. Oh, you got really happy yeah. with that one, huh? So this book is called Wonder. It's a super good book and I, I recommend you. that's about. <laughs> I recommend you guys to read it. Okay. Why? It's one, it's a really, really good book. Okay. And it's about this 11-year-old boy. His name is August. His family members, siblings, and cousins call him Augie because that's his nickname. Mm -hmm. And... He was born within birth. He was born with a birth effect that like made issues with his face, mm -hmm. and he had to get several surgeries and stitches on his face. And he also loved Star Wars, so he had the Star Wars Star Wars helmet to wear over his head because he was scared that lots of people would talk about him. That sounds like a lot to go through at eleven years old. Like, did, would you say he experienced issues like bully, bullying in school? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about some of his situations. Yeah. When he first, on his first day of school, there were three people, there was two boys and one girl. One of the boys thought he was super cool and thought he was the, like, the best in the class, like he was the class clown trying to be popular and stuff. So he was the, he was telling all his friends to, like, not hang with him because of his face and stuff, and he was talking about him. And August didn't like that. So he, he went, when he got home, he was crying to his mom and dad. And then their the mom and dad were like, well, it's okay. And he was and he was sad, mad because he they were they didn't feel what he was feeling because they didn't have the issue that he grew up with. And how did that make you feel? It made me feel sad because if I was in this situation, I would I would I would do exactly what he did. I would cry too. So would you recommend all of these books that you discussed today? Yes. Why would you recommend them? Because they're really good books and they talk about your they talk about culture colors and. It talks about what's going on in the real world and what's going on in this book. Mm -hmm. And wonder, this is a really good book. So it sounds, sounds like they all kind of, in a way, are similar. Um, we're all human, yet experience several differences that aren't always fair. So you definitely make me want to talk about your face more. Read, read the books. <laughs> so um, we are, again, Free Your Wings Youth Mentoring. We are on Facebook at Free Your Wings. We are on Instagram at Free Your Wings. And you can look us up on our website, www.freeyourwings.org. Shoot us an inbox. Give us a phone call. Um, we can tell you a little bit more about our services. And then we'd love to have volunteers or ideas um all of our events are youth led so all of the events we have done youth has has been in the entire planning process the debriefing afterwards and it's been kind of a struggle when you put a lot of kids together to uh, structure an event um it can be very challenging but at the end of the day it's 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 guiding them um to be able to do these things the older that they get so um what hmm. 
what can we, what can we, what do you want to tell your community right now? What can we leave them with? Hmm. I will tell you guys to not judge a book by its cover. Oh. Be yourself at school. Okay. And if you're black, just be yourself. Nobody can stop you from doing what you want to do or stop you from doing your what your dream is so just be yourself don't listen to what anyone has to say because it's your life and they, they can't stop it well i think tenacious summer said it best be yourself and have a great day <laughs>